Hey, hello, good morning, guys. This is Coding with Gautam, and guys, today we will be doing some math as coding is mostly just high school slash middle school math. So we will be doing some geometry as vectors are geometry. So we're just gonna start basic with compass directions and vectors. So before we start, we are just going to talk about what even is a vector. What is the definition? The definition of a vector is a line that has magnitude and direction, but does not have position. So you can see that the magnitude, we'll talk about that later. As first, we're just trying to get the directions right. So we're going to use compass direction to describe the direction of the vector. So here... We have a compass direction, and we have a vector. So the compass direction says that it's pointing 34 degrees to west. So you can just learn with an example. So of all directions, the vector is pointing closest to due west. Uh, we're, this is not the vector we're going to do. This is just an example. However, it is actually pointing 22 degrees south of that. So the vector is 22 degrees south of west because you might say it's west of south because it's closer to west but it is pointing south when it is closer to west that's why so let's try this okay it is closest to south but it is pointing west so i type southwest not west south okay so here we so we first we type the degree 34 degrees west of south as it's we type the directions pointing in so it's pointing west but it is close to south so west of south we got it okay let's do that again so 31 degrees then we have it's pointing north but it but the but the but the red line is pointing west so we go west of north 31 degrees west of north okay now we got 18 degrees west of south and then we have 23 degrees east of north then so on so on we got 39 west of north Oh wait, that did not accept that. So we got 39 west of north. And then we have 21 south of east. And then so on. So now we clear the first section. Now, I was waiting for this type of question to come. So we have a very big angle. So we have a large angle. We can't just say that east or west. That does not make any sense. So what we have to do in this case scenario is we have to make the vector look like how it has been. So what we do is we do 143 minus 90. And I'll tell you in a second. So what is 143 minus 90? That is 53. So... What we do here is, we cancel out this 90. So this 90 does not exist anymore. This 90 just does not exist. So all we have now is just 53 degrees, 53 degrees west of north. So that's basically how you do it. Or if you have the vector pointing this way, and then you have the red line going all the way over here, then you remove this 90, you remove that 90 to get to get the angle x south of west or south west of south. And yeah, so now let's go back to our problem. So let me just clear all the x's out. So I'm just clearing all the x's out. Okay. So now we just cleared the 90, then we have 52 degrees west of north or or do we yes we do so 50 50 53 degrees north 
of west. No, sorry, west of north. West north. Yes. And then you just take out the 90, do it, and that's how you basically find the direction of a vector. And so I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So now we are going to go on to the next subject. So now we are going to do the magnitude of a vector. So this is going to be the last IXL for today's video. In the next video, I will cover it a bit more in depth. So now we're just going to find the magnitude of a vector. So as I said, it, a vector is just a line that has magnitude and direction, but no position. So e, you can even take this vector and you can put it on the 8 and make it point down but it would still be pointing south and it would be like a two it would be like 90 degrees south so that's what i mean by having no position you could take the same vector and you could put it like in the infinity infinity by infinity at as the coordinates but it would still have a magnitude of 8 and 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 the direction of 90 degrees pointing west okay so now we have to find the magnitude of a vector so we'll just look at the example again. So here we have the magnitude of a vector, the distance between two points. Here's the distance formula. And to find the magnitude of a vector, first locate its initial point based on the arrow and its terminal point. So base point, terminal point. And then, so this is kind of like hard. It's like going in depth to the math, but here's just a simple explanation. The, the magnitude of the vector is basically the length. So as you can see, it's negative 8. You can't just say it's negative 8 length. That, that's not how it works. It is 8 units, eight, 8 units long. So now we have 6 units long. No matter the direction, the magnitude is the same. If you take the same vector that is 6 units long, and you point it northwest, southwest, east, south, whatever direction, it will still have the same magnitude of 6. Then we have the magnitude of 10. We have a magnitude of negative 5. Oh, wait, sorry, it's 5. So that's the tricky part. You, when you see it, you'll be like, oh, it's negative 5, and submit it. But as you saw in the example, you could have caught a glimpse of that. It put absolute value signs around it. Because you can't say that it's like negative 5 degrees, not negative 5 degrees, negative 5 units long. And that would not make sense. So we go 9. Then we have 8 units long. And what is this? You might be thinking, how do I find the length of this vector? Well, if you study algebra or pre-algebra, you might be familiar with the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equals c square. So what this is is basically that the squares of two legs of a right triangle add up to the add up to the square of the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse and these two are the legs. And you might be thinking, well, where's the triangle? So if we just if we just do that, we have a triangle. And since these since the two lines are perpendicular, it creates a right angle. So this is one unit long and this is four units long. So we put four as a so four square plus one square equals c square so the unknown value so 4 square is 16 plus 1 and that is 17 so 17 is equal to c square and now we have to take the square root so you've been noticing the square root button which shows up over here yep so that's so this is for these cases so you just take the square root of 17 so you do square root of 17 and you can simplify the radical if needed and and if you're watching this video i think you might have some familiarity with simplifying radicals if not don't fret i'll make a video on simplifying radicals so here we are so we have square root 17 and we cannot simplify it as this is a prime number and we click submit and it's the right answer so you keep doing the same thing this is like four units long that it is nine units high use a Pythagorean find the length so this is it for the basics of vectors in my next video i will cover that how we use vectors in code combat and how we can add and subtract vectors 
and then in another video I'll talk about the different ways to find it, like the per the parallelogram way and the triangle way. So this is it for my video today. This is Corny with Gotham signing off, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day and enjoy your week.